This video is sponsored by Easy iPhone Data Recovery, an easy way to recover data from your iPhone, but not just your iPhone, your backups, and your iCloud as well. All you have to do is connect your phone or select one of the backups or log in into your iCloud account. And the interface of this app will let you do everything in a very easy way. You can just simply select any kinds of data you want to recover. Of course, it allows you to recover all of your data, but you can also specify what you actually want to recover, like selecting maybe some attachments from your messages or any of your messages. From your camera roll you can just recover all your photos or videos or just select a few photos and videos that you might want to actually recover the same can be done with things like your notes your calendar or your voice memos and you can even select different data from different apps which you can recover like let's say i want to recover my viber attachments i can do that in a few simple steps simply select it and select the files that i want to recover tap on recover select the destination where you want to save those and click on recover. That is how easy it is to recover anything you want with easy iPhone data recovery. Simple, fast and very secure. So go ahead and give it a try by checking the link right down below in the description of the hey, video. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.4. Now we're getting very close to the final release of iOS 17.4 to the public, which in my opinion will most likely be the last big update to iOS 17, including a lot of new features and changes before we move on to the first beta of iOS 18, which is shaping up to be a really, really exciting update and maybe the biggest update to iOS ever. So in today's video, we're talking about the current state of iOS 17.4. We have some really interesting updates with the last beta that Apple has released. So first of all, let's take a look at this update. So the beta 4 of iOS 17.4 will come to your device at around 500 to 600 megabytes. As always, that's always different on different devices and different on which current software you have on your device. In my case, here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you will about to get about 571 megabytes of an update. And then the build number right here, iOS 17.4 beta 4, has a build number of 21E5209B. That build number ending with a B, indicating that there are no much betas left for this update. Most likely we'll get another one or maybe Apple will move straight to the RC version, but we're going to talk about that in specific dates towards the end of the video. And now let's talk about the new features and changes that Apple has brought to iOS 17.4 with the latest beta 4. And of course, the most important one will be the battery features that Apple has added specifically for the iPhone 15 Pro models. And of course, hopefully this will come to older devices as well, because it is where it should be and it's basically it makes more sense than being on the about section. So now when you go to your battery settings, you will have something here called battery health. And you can see it says normal. Now when you go here, you will have way more details than before. Right here will have everything you need to know regarding the battery of your device. So it says that the battery is in normal health. It can say service if your, your device's battery is in low battery health or if you have maybe replaced the battery or something like that with like a third party battery, it will say unknown. Then you will have the maximum capacity, that's the battery health of your device. And then you will have the cycle count right here, basically showing you how much, how many times you have charged your battery, 0% to 100%. Either way you charge it or you discharge it, 100% will count as a one battery cycle. And then it shows the manufacturer date of the battery and the first use of the battery that you have on your iPhone. Of course, this will be September 2023. And then right here, we have something really interesting about battery and warranty. If you tap right there, you will see this screen. Now, what's really interesting here is that it says that the orig original battery was designed to retain 80% of capacity at 1000 cycles under ideal conditions, of course. Now, this is really interesting because this number, the 1000 here is double the number that Apple states on their website where they talk about battery health and how to maintain the battery, and how to charge your iPhone. It says that it should retain 80% at 500 battery cycles. Now, right here, it says 1000, which is really interesting. And we didn't get an explanation why that changed that, but let's wait and see if there will be an explanation in the near future. 
another change here under settings if you go to privacy and security and then go here analytics and improvements you will find now something called here improve apple pay so if you use apple pay on your device you will get basically like a button here that allows to improve apple pay if you want to do that you can do that now from here now what apple has done with ios 17.4 they're bringing a new change to carplay so basically you will get new maps instrument cluster on specific cars like porsches and cars like that so you can see right here how this will look on the device on actually on cars now i tried it on my car it didn't work so it's basically only for a few specific cars that you will get now this like apple maps here on the instrument cluster and it actually looks pretty pretty cool now another change you will find on ios 17.4 on eu when you search you know that with EU, now Apple is allowing side loading for apps. When you search for an app on the spotlight search and you tap the download button, now you will see this splash screen right here. So it says App Store would like to install an app and it gives you the ability here to install the app or cancel the install. And of course, you get basically the screenshots of the apps, the preview of the app, the same that you get on the App Store page right there on the spotlight search. Now another change that Apple has made with beta 3, a lot of us thought that it was only a glitch and it's very welcome in my opinion. When you set a new wallpaper on your device, the home screen wallpaper will no longer be blurred by default. So you know that whenever you set a wallpaper, if you have a device on iOS 17.3 or 17.3.1, you will need to go and manually remove the blur from the home wallpaper because by default it is blurred. Now they have removed that and it's only basically the same wallpaper as on the lock screen of course you can always tap there if you want to add the blur to the home screen wallpaper and now let's talk about the battery now of course when talking about battery we can talk about the previous beta because we have to wait a few more days to see how the battery will perform on beta 4 but taking a look here at the last few days so here we have the last 10 days so right here we have about 80 percent battery 8 hours 20 minutes which is really great you can see right here 50 percent battery almost 50 not exactly 50 percent but maybe 45 3 hours 52 minutes then we have here 4 hours 49 minutes on exactly 50 percent battery which is really great again then we have 75 percent battery 5 hours 22 minutes and then we have right here against about 65 percent battery 8 hours 46 minutes which is really great but you can see right here it basically moves from day to day now i think the basically what is happening here is what i'm using during the day because during the weekend where you see the battery wasn't performing that good i mainly used lte or 5g and then of course the other days where i did use wi-fi most of the time we have a way better battery life like you can see here seven hours with about 60 percent battery which is actually quite good so again battery life with 17.4 it is okay not the best ever but it is okay hopefully it will be a bit improved with the next betas and of course the final release and now let's talk performance so this is the performance score from iOS 17.4 beta 4 so we have a single core score at 2932 2968 with beta 3 so it has dropped a bit but of course probably in the next couple of days if we do another test it will be a bit better then we have the multi-core score which is basically the same 7400 and 31 with the beta 4 then we have 7432 with beta 3 which is almost exactly the same and now let's talk about the release dates well we're on a beta that ends with a b on the build number meaning that there's either one beta left or maybe none left so we will have to wait for the next weekend to see if apple will decide to actually release the beta 5 the last beta on the 27th here or they will release the rc version if that happens and you can expect the final release on march 5th if it doesn't then on march 5th you can expect the release of the rc version either on the 5th or the 4th and then of course towards the middle of the march probably on the 11th or 12th of the march we will get the final release of ios 17.4 to the public which is again a great update and probably the last big update to ios 17 before apple moves on to the first betas of ios 18 so that's basically for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one